Kyle Kutzer, uh, entering a bit of a busy period uh, with the Scotland team just now. We've got obviously got England and Pakistan coming up. How are preparations going? Yeah, uh, they've started well. Um, the sun even came out for us on a couple of occasions. So um, yeah, we've been outside. Uh, um, guys are training well. We, uh, we had a bit of time off from Zimbabwe, but uh, now the guys are back together training well, and we've got our build-up um, uh, leading into these games. So it's pretty, a pretty exciting time for us. What are the feelings on the on the back of that infamous Zimbabwe tour? Yeah, I think there's been quite a lot of mixed emotions. You know, it's been quite tough to take. Uh, there were moments of that tour that uh, were outstanding. There are parts of the the whole competition that were were, were brilliant for the game. Um, there was uh, moments that you saw um, some real uh, skill and ability from from our players and and others throughout the comp, um, but. Uh, I guess uh, a strange one coming back empty-handed in the end, um, but you know I guess it's the nature of the game sometimes. But uh, you know we would we would like to have have more to work towards, and, and um, but this is where we are at the moment. This is what we've got in front of us. So we, we've got these England Pakistan games to focus on. Obviously, they're going to be exciting encounters. It's a, a, a real chance to make a statement, would you say? Yeah, hugely so. Um, Looking at both teams, they're both ranked number one in the world at, the, at their their competitions at the ODI. Obviously, England ranked number one in ODIs and Pakistan ranked number one in, in T20s. So, has that ever happened in Scotland before? Probably not, having the two uh, top ranked teams in the world. So, um, that's exciting in itself. Um, that's even before we think about playing the games. So, uh, you know, that's a fantastic thing that's uh, being achieved over here from. Uh, from our organisation and 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 the support from the other two organisations too. So, um, what what a, what an opportunity! And yeah, we look forward to them. And let's just pray for some good weather. You've obviously had experience at playing at the Grange when it's it's built up into a, a proper stadium. Does that excite you at all? Yes, uh, I think the the Grange is a fantastic venue. Um, uh, I think the last time we actually played England uh, was it was in Aberdeen, and and the ground looked brilliant uh, up there. Unfortunately, that was hampered by a bit, a bit of rain throughout the day. But um, we got on the park and played some cricket. Um, but when the when the Grange is packed out um, on that game against England, I'm sure it'll be a, a, a great sight for Scotch cricket. If you could get a, a win, what sort of statement does that send? Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not really sure what sort of, what words you could you could put to that because you know if we if we take on uh, the number one team in the world and we manage to um, manage to beat them, uh, you know it's going to be a, an unbelievable achievement from from our guys. So um, look, we, we've got to be as realistic as we can. Yes, we plan to uh, obviously try and beat them, but being realistic is important too. Um, and we'll have our plans in place to make sure we try and combat them and and not only combat them but. Uh, provide and put on show our skills that we have. Very good, thank you. Cheers. Thanks.